Hello, friends. I hope you and those you love are safe, healthy, and well today. As of this recording, Joseph Biden has been announced as the new president-elect of the United States. And if you saw my other video, I indicated that half the country would be happy with this choice and that the other half would not be. For those of you who voted for Joe Biden, congratulations. This is a good moment for you. My encouragement to you is to be gracious in victory. For those who voted for Donald Trump, this is a disappointing moment, but this is democracy and democracy is messy. Sometimes our candidate wins and sometimes they don't. Sometimes we are in the majority and sometimes we're not. Democracy isn't perfect, but at least we have a say. If you feel like you have to grieve, then grieve, but do so knowing that you did something that people have literally bled, fought, and died to do. You voted, you participated, and you let your voice be heard. At the end of the day, we are all Americans. And despite our differences at the polls, we have a lot more in common than we realize. We all want a president that will fight for us and lead us with experience and intelligence. We want to be represented by a government that acts on our behalf and in our best interest. And ultimately, we want a government that is functional, responsible, and is of the people, by the people, and for the people. And if the new administration is successful in doing these things, then that should be good for all of us. Regardless of how you voted, we all need to be united in doing the same thing. We need to focus on moving forward. We need to have hope that the president elect and his administration will unite and represent the whole country. And if you're a praying person, we need to pray for the new administration and at least send them good thoughts that they will lead and govern in wisdom, common sense, and in an even-handed way that will benefit everyone. And if they don't, then we the people need to hold them accountable and speak with our voices and with our votes. I will say this, regardless of political party, one of the things that's pretty amazing and that has unfortunately gotten lost in the divisiveness of the campaign and the election is that by a majority vote, the people have elected a black Asian American woman to the second highest political office in the land. Again, I'm not advocating for any particular political leaning, but that says something about our country. It says that we can evolve, that we're not stuck, that people of all backgrounds have opportunity here. And even though half the country might not be happy with the outcome, I think we can all be proud to be Americans in this moment. Take care of yourselves, take care of one another. God bless you and God bless the United States of America.